This month, Hawkeye News crime reporter J.D. Foster brings us a closer look at a story making headlines both in the Metroplex and across the country. With recent speaking out from Colleyville Heritage athletes as well as a controversial book by retired Major League Baseball player Jose Canseco, the topic of steroids is finally getting out, hopefully in time to save lives. What do you have for us on this story, J.D.? Well, ladies, some say the amount of drug use and abuse in sports nowadays is incredible. It has been estimated that 2.9% of 12th graders use steroids, or as many as 1.1 million young people, even though steroids and performance-enhancing drugs are banned in nearly every sport. This month's Drug and Crime Report is brought to you by The Bassett Firm, Texas Trial Attorneys. After nine Colleyville Heritage High School athletes admitted to using steroids last fall, it brought a long-standing problem into the spotlight, again. Recently in Fort Worth, the parents of these athletes came together to discuss the problem. In an article published by the Tarrant Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse, it stated, in a recent national survey, 69% of student athletes said they had not received information about the dangers of performance-enhancing drugs while on their sports teams from their coaches. And, while not stated here, it is sometimes thought that coaches look the other way or perhaps even condone the use of these drugs. Here at Red Oak High School, if we have 2.9% of 12th graders using performance enhancing drugs, we would have approximately 12 students using potentially dangerous drugs. Some of you may be wondering, what is the big deal? What are steroids and why would we use or abuse them? Anabolic steroids are artificial versions of a hormone that's in all of us, testosterone. That's right. Testosterone is in girls as well as guys. Testosterone not only brings out male sexual traits, it also causes muscles to grow. Some people, often bodybuilders, take anabolic steroid pills or injections to try to build muscle faster. Anabolic means growing or building, but these steroids also have other effects. They can cause changes in the brain and body that increase risks for illness and they may affect moods. You may have heard that some athletes use anabolic steroids to gain size and strength. Maybe you've even seen an anabolic steroid user develop bigger muscles over time. But while anabolic steroids can make some people look stronger on the outside, they may create weaknesses on the inside. For example, anabolic steroids can weaken the immune system, the body's defense against germs and diseases. They can also lead to liver damage or cancer, even in young people. They can also permanently stop bones from growing in teenagers. Some really awful side effects can be caused by this additional testosterone through the disruption of normal hormone function. In guys, steroids can interfere with the normal production of testosterone and cause your testes to shrink, lower sperm count, and reproductive ability. They can cause an irreversible loss of scalp hair. In girls, they can also cause loss of scalp hair and cause the growth of body and facial hair and deepening of the voice. These changes are also irreversible. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the true dangers of steroids. And while athletes want to be bigger, stronger, and faster, it is clear that the best way to reach championship level is good old-fashioned hard work. Thanks, J.D. Well, Christian, I hear that our Hawkettes recently did a wonderful job at competition and brought home the most trophies ever in one competition. That's right, Katie. 